Now we are here in front of a building that had collapsed uh, when the earthquake hit uh, last Monday. Uh, we can see that people are still standing in front of the building hoping uh, to see if there are any survivors left. Uh, Uh, some people said that there are three or four people still missing in uh, under the rubble of this building even though uh, the rescue work here uh, seem in this particular place seem to have been finished uh, but people are still standing hoping for uh, hoping to hear about their people uh, so with us here is one of the people who used to live here. His brother used to live here. His brother was asleep with his family and they started they wanted to run, leave the house. But a ceiling destroyed, collapsed over the rest. After 14 hours, the guy managed to rescue his daughter. They rescued the mom and the children and your brother, his brother. So out of six family members, one was alive and the rest died under the rubber. So to sum up what he had said, uh, this guy, his brother uh, and his family lived here. There were uh, six members of this family. One only uh, survived, uh, the rest died. As we can see, the people are still here standing, hoping that they might see someone, they might see any sign of life, even though it almost a week uh, has passed since this disaster. But people, they're not losing hope. Uh, they are still here standing after one week, but still they're coming here. Something inside of them is bringing them every day to this place standing here on top and look down in the hope of seeing anything, any sign.